and shalom akim on the gavol praise on and glory to yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham raka kudash double honors to the elder apostles of great millstone who teach you the well and shalom to the sincere akim furnish you with sincerity shalom in this video i want to speak about you know how the, uh, the internet you know is, is used for this truth you know how the most high is, is using you know, the internet to gather the elect you know, to sue those people that need to hear the words you know and spread his word you know so what i want to do first is i want to go to the book of job chapter 39 where it speaks about the unicorn because those scriptures that are that are speaking about the unicorn are actually speaking about the internet you know, and in this lesson i want to give the breakdown of the unicorn referred to in Job 39. You know, and if you're a spiritual man, you know, if you have eyes to you know eyes to see and ears to hear, you know, Lord willing you're gonna understand this breakdown. And you know, the most that you can open your eyes, make you realize like hey, <laughs> these scriptures are referring to the internet and YouTube. You know, and that the most high is using this, you know, to uh, to sue the elect, you know. So this is Job chapter 39, verse 9. Will the unicorn be willing to serve thee or abide by thy crib? So what does a unicorn uh, look like? You know, of course, the first thing that you're going to have in your mind is a horse with a, with a single horn. But if you break down the word unicorn, it basically goes into one horn. It's 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 a uni means one, and you know the the uh, the corn part goes into having one horn. So the word unicorn goes into one horn, and we know that the horn represents power. So this these these verses is not speaking on an animal. Or something similar. No, this is this is this is something else. You know, this is uh, this is some this is something different, man. Because if you read the, the, the scriptures that follow it, you know, you'll be like, you know, this can't be speaking about you know an animal or something like that. You know, so if you come to find out that the unicorn uh, means one horn, which the one horn represents power, you know, you're gonna find out that one horn also goes into a feed horn you know and a feed horn is basically a satellite which the satellite has a single horn you see so the satellite represents an antenna you know, that's basically what the what the internet is using you know to 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 work you know it's, it's spread through uh, an antenna through frequencies you see so it says, would the unicorn be willing to serve thee or abide by the crib? So basically a question is being being made here, like is the is the unicorn, which is the internet, is it is is, is it willing to, to basically serve thee? Is it willing to work for thee? You know, and, and the word serve, you know, over there, you know, that refers to uh, to servers, you know, and what is being stored on these servers? All that information that is is is, is being uh, going to and fro across the internet, and that's something that I um, want to speak a little bit more about. This is um, uh, on Google, and what I did is I looked up the word server meaning, and then I went to uh, people also ask what exactly what exactly so like the, what exactly is a server, and that's on infotech.co.uk blog, but it's it's, 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 it's uh, visible on, on Google itself, 
and it says a server is a computer that serves information to other computers. These computers, called clients, can connect to a server through either a local area network or a wide area network, such as the internet. A server is a vital piece of your IT infrastructure. So a server you know, basically makes use of the internet. You know? So when it says, what well, a unicorn be willing to serve thee, you know, basically goes into, uh, into the internet and the servers that come you know, with, with that to, to make it possible you know, for the internet to work. You know, it also says, or abide by the crib. You know, what does a crib, uh, crib uh, represent? Well, if you look at a, uh, an animal crib, It's basically uh, this is from a uh, from a hair or something. Uh, let me see if it's better like this. Gone. So here you see the the animal, and over here you see the crib, and in which the crib is basically a feeding trough. So uh, things are fed, you know, through the crib. So. How are we being fed? You know the words of Yahweh Bashem which you know this word is being referred to as milk, as honey, as wine, as grass. You know, what what could we see in this uh, you know in this feeding trough? We saw basically dry grass. You know that the uh, the bunny or the hare was able to eat. You know which the the the. The word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai also likened unto food, you know, which the feeding trough represents YouTube, you know, from which we receive that uh, uh, spiritual food, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, starting off with the elder apostles, the great millstone on down, you see. <clears throat> Verse 10. Canst thou bind the unicorn with its band in the furrow? Will he harrow the valleys after thee? So, to uh, to break this verse down, we need to understand what the word bind uh, actually goes into. Because to bind something means to grab or take hold of something. Which, if you grab something and take hold of it, you're able to control it. What does it mean if you're able to control something? It means you're able to use it. So it says, Canst thou bind the unicorn with his band in the furrow? So can you use the unicorn, the internet, with his band in the furrow? And the word furrow um, goes into to accumulate or to store. Store what? All that information. Where is that being stored on the YouTube page? You know, and how does the YouTube page you know is able to do all those things through the server that's being connected to the internet? You know. So it says, "Can thou bind? Can, can you use the internet with his band in the fur with his with his storage, or will he harrow the valleys after thee?" And um, uh, the word harrow. Uh, means to lead straight and what does it need to lead straight you know it needs to lead the people into the straight path you know which is to uncover the truth and give the people the truth you know, because um, you know it also says in um, the book of Revelations uh, chapter 20 and this is concerning uh, you know, Esau Edom, the so-called white man upon the earth, was also being referred to as Satan and the devil, you know, which uh, they ruled during the Greek and the Roman Empire, you know, but around 325 AD, you know, they were pushed into the mountains during the Dark Ages for a thousand years, you know, and, and um, so they were not able to deceive, you know, the, the nations no more. 
but after those thousand years, you know, they should be released, you know, for, for, for a small season, as it says in Revelation chapter 20, verse 7. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to, to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. So after those thousand years, which happened during the Renaissance, which basically started off, you know, when uh, the, the Ottoman Empire took down uh, Constantinople the 11th, you know, that's basically when the, the, the tides changed, Jake you know, was pushed out of the rulership uh, in, in Europe from, from a thousand years reign during the Byzantine Empire, you know, and that's when Esau Edom, the so-called white man upon the earth, came back into rulership, you know, when they basically started to deceive the nations once again, you know, by, by, by spreading lies and, and things that, you know, uh, are contrary to, to the truth, which are lies. You know, so when we go back to Job, chapter 39, <coughs> in verse 10, it says, Can you bind a unicorn with its band in the furrows? Can you use the internet? Um, and basically is, is, is storage, you know, or will he harrow the valleys after he, is he able to, to make straight, uh, make, make things straight, you know, lead people into the straight path, you know, uncover the truth, do away, do away with the lies, you know, and that's something that's happening because, you know, when, when the, uh, when the elder apostle, great Milton on down, through the spirit of power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, were able to put all their, their videos, you know, and, and the truth online, you know, that, that, that's when, you know, the, 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 the truth, you know, became uh, accessible, you know, for the rest of the world, you know, because the truth, it, it started in America, you know, it started in New York, you know, so they were able to put that information on YouTube, you know, and it basically uncovered the truth. You know, the truth came came to pass, you know, which which also you know started way earlier, you know, before the internet was 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 a thing, and YouTube was uh, available to the world, you know, because Abba Bivens, you know, who was Elijah and the reincarnation, but also John the Baptist, you know, he he came and, and brought back the wisdom, another understanding of Yahweh Shai around 1970, you know. So it started way back then, but only in, 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 in the early 2000s, you know, this, this truth, you know, started to be pushed, you know, on YouTube and, and the internet, you know. So this is uh, uh, Job chapter 39, verse 11. Will thou trust him because his strength is great? Or will thou leave thy labor to him? You know, so... Basically, the, these questions that are being made is like, we trust him because the strength is great. We put your trust in the internet, you know, to basically do the work to spread to spread the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, you know, through the through the elder apostles, of great millstone on down, and those that push the same doctrine, you know. Verse twelve: Will thou believe him that he will bring home thy seed and gather it into thy barns? You know, that that actually is, is something that is happening. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh this this truth is, is, is going global. You know, we, we have brothers waking up, you know, all over the earth. You know, we, we have brothers in Sweden, Finland, Italy, Germany, uh, England, uh, Ireland, Scotland, Australia, um, Africa, um, South America, and of course America, you know. This, this truth is, is, is going global, man, and, and, and our people are waking up, you know, because it says in um, the book of Baruch, second chapter, we speak about how, you know, we would wake up in the land of our captivities, you know, 
Just start to praise the name of Yahweh Baruch Hu. Baruch Hu. Baruch chapter two. And um, verse thirty. For I knew that they would not hear me, because this is stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. You know, this would not have been possible. You know, would it not have, would 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 it not have been? You know, through the spirit of power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to raise up man in America, you know, put that information on YouTube so that the whole world will be able to to, to, to take hold of it, you know, and, and, and uh, let the most high raise up those people that need to hear this word, you know, and, and, and set up camps, you know, and from that, that spot on also teach the truth, you know, so this, this, this word will basically be, uh, flood the whole earth, you know. Verse 31, and shall know that I am the Lord Jehovah their power, for I give them in heart and ears to hear. You know, so our people would, would wake up in the four corners of the earth, you know, which are the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but also those that were scattered among the heathen nations that might look like the heathen nations. But his lineage does go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob according to their father's seed line. You know, it doesn't matter what you look like, but as long as your seed line goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob according to your father's seed line, that means you're an Israelite. And if you understand this truth, and it's, this truth is, is basically connecting with your spirit, and you understand it, and then you have a zoo towards the Most High, you know, it could be that you're an Israelite, man. You know? Verse 32, And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity, and think upon my name. You know, showing that, that there's there's importance in the names, you know, of the Heavenly Father and His Son. You know, verse 33. And return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the ways of their fathers which sinned before the Lord Jehovah. Amen. Yeah, so we will basically come back to the truth, you know, try to keep the lost Statue commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to the best of our abilities. But it also says, for they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the Lord Jehovah. Which would not have been possible, would it not have been for Yahushua and Yahushua to raise up Abba Bivins, you know, to break down Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, to show to the world that these the curses that are written down in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, pertain to the Israelites, so could Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You see? And from that moment on, you know, the truth eventually came, you know, the, 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 the complete understanding eventually came down to the other parts of Great Millstone. Which put the information, you know, on YouTube. Verse 34, And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it. And I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. So what the Most High is doing, he's gathering, you know, his, 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 his people, man. You know, as it says in, in Job chapter 39, verse, verse 12, Will thou believe him? That he will bring home thy seed. You know, because back in the days, you know, in the time of Yahweh Shai, you know, what did the apostles and those that followed Yahweh Shai do? You know, what, 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 did, what did those prophets do? They, they moved from country to country to spread the word. You know? But in this day and age, the Most High is using the internet to wake up his people across the four corners of the earth. That's why the internet is being, being uh, had been made. You know, by the Most High. To spread the word. You know, to flood this world, to flood this earth with the doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. As it says in Ezekiel, the 47th chapter. You know, to spread this word. Back in Baruch, chapter uh, 2 and uh, 35, I will make an everlasting covenant with them be their power they shall they shall be my people and I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them you see so this is going to be our last captivity you know and then we're going to be fully righteous you know we're going to be in our land forever you know and we're going to be lords of it you know so um there are a couple of more scriptures that I want to grab concerning uh, the breakdown of the unicorn being the internet you know and showing you that uh, 
most I doing so look for YouTube. Um, this is Psalms. Nineteenth chapter. You know, because you know um, of the Apostle Tahar, you know, he, he he never decided to to travel, you know, to other countries to spread the word. You know, we know that uh, Nate Satan is doing that. You know, he's going to all these countries, you know, getting. Uh, you know, getting stitched, you know, in his arm in order to move from country to country and spread the word. You know, showing you that 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 there's power that the most high is dealing with with the elder apostle great millstone on down. You know, showing you that the most high is dealing with them because they have no need, you know, to go from country to country in this day and age. You know, they let the unicorn do the work, you know, through the spirit of Bhagavad Gita Bashram Yasha, of course. So this is uh, Psalms chapter 19, uh, starting out verse 2. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. You know, this is what the internet is doing. You know, you can go on YouTube on during any hour of the day, and you're, gonna, you're, you're able to find new uh, videos that are basically uploaded by the brothers. You know, every brother... You know, every, uh, let me say it like this. You know, upon this earth, there are many different time zones. So, it don't matter what time it is during the day, new videos, you know, are being uploaded day by day. You know, night by night as well. You know, verse 3, there is no speech nor language where the voice is not heard. You see, because, like I said, we have brothers in Italy. We have brothers in Germany. We have brothers over here in the Netherlands. You know, we have brothers in in, in England. We have, have brothers in uh, in South America. You know, we have brothers in America. You know, showing you that you know the words of Yahweh Bashem Yashai through the internet are spoken in different languages as well. You know, so this word is going global. You know, the brother of Germany is speaking in German. You know, they're teaching also in English. You know, over here in the Netherlands, we speak for the majority, we speak English. But when, 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 when Dutch native speakers, you know, come to the camp and they have trouble speaking Dutch, uh, speaking English, you know, we, we transition to the Dutch, you know. So we're able to adjust ourselves according to our audience that comes by the camp, you know. Um, back up the point that I just made. Uh, this is Romans chapter 10 and uh, verse 18. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went, to in, went into all the earth and their, and their words unto the ends of the world. You know, showing you that you know, the words of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai are being spread globally, globally. You know, once the whole earth, uh, once the whole uh, earthly population, you know, has heard uh, through one way or another about the truth, you know, that, that's when, you know, the end's going to come. That's when Yahweh Shai comes back, you know, and, and, and everything's going to be fulfilled that needs to be fulfilled in order for the kingdom of Yahshua Allah, you know, to uh, the kingdom of heaven to be established. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. You know, and like I, I started off this, this, this video with, you know, the Most High is, is, is spreading this gospel, you know, through a service to prophets by a way of the internet. How else would we be able to, 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 to reach the whole earth? You know, everybody's on his phone. Everybody's on his laptop nowadays. You know, everybody's on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. You know, there's no way that you know in the time to come that people could cannot say that they didn't have heard the words of Yahweh Hashem El Shai. You know, there's no way that these people can claim such a thing. You know. And there is one more scripture that I wanted to grab. 
um, but I don't remember it so fast. Yeah, yeah, I know already. I already know it. So I spoke about how the Most High is using the internet to spread this word. But there's going to come a time where the Most High is going to take away his words. You know, the internet is going to be shut down. You know, the servants of prophets are going to be taken away from the streets. You know, so that, that's a time that we're, that we're heading into already. You know, over here in the Netherlands, we already split up camps because of the distance that we need to have considering this pandemic that we're dealing with right now. You know, but as the scripture says, there's nothing you can do. Uh, 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 we say there's nothing you can do against the truth but for the truth you know meaning that they what, what they tried to do against the truth was by splitting up the camps you know but by doing so we're able to to have four camps spread the words of Yahweh meaning that there's more information coming out meaning there's more, the, 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 the the earth is going to be flooded with even more truth you see so like I said there's nothing that they can do against the truth but for the truth Trying to mess us up, but you know, <laughs> bring up more truth. You know. um, so like, yeah. This is uh, the book of Amos, chapter 8, verse, uh, verse 11. Behold, the day is come, said the Lord Jehovah, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord Jehovah. You know, so the most I he says he's, he's, he's going to send a family of hearing the words of the Lord Jehovah Hashem Yoshai. Meaning he's going to take away all the, the videos and the teachings you know, that we have been doing uh, during the time that we have been in the truth. You know? But it says that, you know, uh, that Moses is not going to send a family of bread nor a thirst for water. He's also going to do that, but these scriptures refer to hearing the words of Jehovah Hashem Yoshai. Because you need to have the proper understanding to break the scriptures down, which need to be taught, you know, by a teacher. You know, starting off with the other apostles, great news and on down. You know, so the days are gonna come that that there is gonna be a famine of bread and thirst for water, but these scriptures refer to hearing the words of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. Verse twelve, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the words of the Lord Jehovah and, and shall not find it. But because the time is going to come that those things that we spoke about are going to come to pass. You know, though we tarry, wait for it, you know, because, it, you know, we're, 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 um, let me just grab it, man. I'm, 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 I'm already there. This is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come and it will not tarry. Meaning, the visions refer to uh, to the prophecies, and the prophecies are set for an appointed time. You know, though it tarry, though it might look like these things are not going to happen, they will happen. This, was, this also goes into the famine of the word. You know, right now it might look like that's not going to happen. You know, because the internet is being flooded with the truth, but at the same time, you know, the people that are watching our videos and not making uh, um, uh, videos themselves, you know, don't know that, you know, the channels are being clipped on a daily basis. You know, a couple of weeks ago, they, they basically clipped my channel, you know. So, uh, you know, it says, do it tear away through it because it will surely come or will not tear it. Even though it is going to wait for, for uh, it might it might um, take some time for these things to come to pass, eventually these things shall come to pass. You know, there's not only speaking about the famine of the word, but concerning all the prophecies that we're speaking about. Uh, the Third World War, the famines, the pestilences, you know, the earthquakes, you know, the, 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 the time of Jacob's trouble, purge-like situations, people killing each other, cannibalism. All these things are going to come upon the earth. You know. uh, so it's back in Amos chapter 8 and uh, verse 12 again and they shall wander from the sea to the sea and from the north even to the east 
they should run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord Jehovah and should not find it. Yeah, because I already spoke about how when these things should come to pass, all these prophecies, then they're going to realize like, hey, shit, man. You know, the prophets that were standing on the streets that we, you know, sometimes had a derision. You know, we made a fool out of, you know, uh, you know we, we esteemed them as fools. Uh, we mocked them, we scorned them, we didn't take them serious, we thought that they were crazy. They're, they're going to realize that, hey, the times, the times will come, you know, that they, they're going to be like, shit, man, what did we do? We should have listened to, to, to what they were saying, we should have taken heed. And when all these things are going to come to pass, then they're going to realize, like, shit, man, where are they? We need to find them, we need to, we need to know what's going on. You know, because the most High is going to take us away. Then, then, then the earth shall be, 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 be you know, be, be lacking um, the knowledge which we're understanding of Yahweh Hashem Yashai. You know, verse 13, In that day shall the fair virgin and young man faint for thirst. They're going to desire to hear the words of Yahweh Hashem Yashai. Because this scripture also being referred to as, 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 as water. You know, as it says in the book of Deuteronomy. But that's why they're going to thirst. They're going to thirst for the water. Which is the doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Yashai. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 2. My doctrine shall drop as the rain, my speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. You see? So, this shows you that this, this truth is being referred to as, as water as well. And that's why these people are going to faint and thirst to hear, to hear this word. You know? These times are, 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 are on their way. You know, there's nothing that we can do about it. You know, these things will come to pass. You know, and all that we can do is prophesy about it. You know, and, and do the work for Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to the best of our abilities. And hope and pray that we're going to be delivered from the time to come. You know, which also goes hand in hand with faith. And if you have faith, you know, you show that, that by your works. You know, which is what we're doing when we're going into the highways and byways. And to, uh, to give her body as a living sacrifice. You know? um, one more scripture that I want to grab and then I want to close it up. You know, because it spoke about um, the strength of the unicorn as well. You know, basically, uh, uh, Job chapter 39, verse 11. Would they trust him because the strength is great? Would they leave their labor to him? Because in this day and age, you're able to find so much information, you know, that's basically pulling down these strongholds, basically pulling down these lies that are being set up by the people in power, you know, through the internet as well. And you don't have to go to the to the library no more to find certain information. You know, in this day and age, a lot of information that also was contained in books is now available in a digital format, you know. That's why it also says in Daniel chapter 12, Verse, um, verse 4. But thou, Daniel, shove the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. I'm showing you that, you know, once these words were sealed, you know, when these words were sealed, people were not able to understand, you know, what, what they were reading. It was like, you know, what are we reading, man? We don't understand what's going on over here. You know, but then, you know, the most has put the spirit, has put the spirit upon certain men, you know, and, and gave them the understanding of the scriptures, which, you know, which we are able to receive in this day and age, you know, the most is opening up your mind to them, you know. But also says, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Why are they going to run to and fro? They're going to look for information, you know. They're going to look like, hey. What is this? You know, what's this talking about? You know, what's what's that talking about? You know, they're, they're looking for things, man. And knowledge will be increased, meaning you're able to find so much information in this day and age. You know, also by means of the internet, also by the means of YouTube. You see? So, you know, this lesson spoke about, you know, uh, how the unicorn refers to the internet. You know, how the Most High is, is using the internet, you know, and, and the YouTube. You know, uh, through the service to prophets, 
no starting off with the elder pass of the great millstone on down you know to uh, to gather his uh, to gather his his seed man to gather his, his his chosen people those people that he has chosen you know from the foundation to receive salvation man those people that have their names written in the book of life you know they they those people are gonna make it in the chariots man you know so lord willing you know this this that's what's edifying and i want to give all praise honor and glory to yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodesh. Double honors to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone, who teach him real well. And Shalom to the sincere Akim, who's truth and sincerity. Shalom.